Hello, this is Fabian Christensen from Posset's Perfume, and this is a video on sealing wax. And this is a piece of sealing wax. This is a conventional sealing wax, which is made with beeswax and quite a few resins. I think there's pine resin in it, too. It smells very good while you're using it, and it's rather shiny. I don't know if you can see that or not. This is an exceptionally conventional color. It used to come in only one dark red color like this. And there are several different companies that make it. Probably the most famous is J. Herbine in France. They've been making sealing wax since 1670. And there's a Houghton company. This one is a Houghton, um, a Houghton sealing wax. Stuart Houghton, made in Great Britain in Herefordshire. Uh, it comes with a little wick in it, which we will see helps you when you're trying to keep it lit. These are more uh, modern sealing waxes. They're a little bit flexible. They're not brittle like this one. You can see that this has been cracked there. These are more flexible and they will have a tendency to go through modern postal machines a little bit more easily than the conventional stuff. It comes in all the colors in the world. They feel a little bit more um, uh, springy. They feel a little bit softer and not as cool to the touch as the conventional stuff. Now this is the very modern kind of sealing wax. It's actually flexible and it sticks to the page very nicely and it goes through all kinds of metering and postal machines. See, it flexes and it goes back to its original format and it comes in sticks like I showed you before and in every other way it looks like regular sealing wax except this stuff is is flexible. Now here are some of the seals and you can get seals in just about any any shape you like. This is a fleur-de-lis because that's a symbol of my company. You can get them in just about any normal average symbol that you want. You can get them in monograms. Your monogram, this is an F for Fabian. Uh, zodiac signs, anything you like. And you can get them made uh, for any occasion or with any image that you like on them. So let's start. I've already folded a piece of paper. What I like to do is I like to put... Um, blocks on there on either side to make sure that the paper is down as far as possible. And then I take the, the seal and I make sure that I know which end is up. This end is up so I'm going to put it right here with the correct end in the way I want it to be. So when I go to, to take it, when I go to grab it and set it into the page, I don't have to end up worrying about whether or not I'm going to get an upside down seal. So we're going to do a conventional seal. There are two other tricks besides not setting yourself on fire. Remember you are playing with fire. You don't want to take chances with it. It's not worth it. So if anything goes wrong, please just stop and make sure that the flames are out. Don't set your page on fire either. I use one of these uh, long neck lighters. and get it started and it's just like lighting a candle oops okay if it starts to get a little bit too jumpy on you just put it up so that it doesn't have that much sealing wax burning and it'll calm right down and what you want to do is you want to get yourself a big enough puddle so that you can make a nice round seal that you get as much of your seal into that puddle as possible and you also want to try to get it on either side of the fold so that you can get a really good seal because after all even though it's very decorative you are trying to get this thing to seal a piece of paper One thing that lets you know it's real and not just some peel off sticker is that you are going to get a bit of soot in it so there are going to be black streaks and that's a good thing that simply shows the receiver that you actually did care enough to use a real seal instead of doing the peel off ones and there are peel off seals that you can buy too of course they're always perfect now you've got a big enough puddle here 
Now this is the first trick. You take your wax and you take the molten wax puddle and you spread it around to make a rather large circular and then you take your seal and you breathe on it and you've just made a vapor lock and that's going to give you a better impression it's going to make it um, much clearer and it's going to come off easier now keep the seal down on the page for a little while oh you know 10 seconds or so I do that just so that the wax will form up around the seal and won't come away with the seal when you pull it off the page and there we go. It was a good seal. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but it's a seal that has shininess, which I think is good. It's covered both sides of the page, so the page is going to be sealed. Now there's a little string here, and that'll come right off. You just touch it and it cracks and falls right off. That's not a perfect seal, but it's it's fairly good for being on film. So. Uh, I hope there were a couple little tricks that you, you picked up. First off, use one of these long neck lighters. They're always good. It keeps the flame away from you. Secondly, make sure that you take your sealing wax and pull the molten wax around in a circle to make a nice round blob before you put the, the seal on it. Make sure that the seal is sitting there ready to get picked up, you know, having the correct side up so that you don't end up putting a seal upside down on it and then breathe on it and put it in and keep it there for say about 10 seconds and you should get a very nice looking seal so thanks for watching this is Fabian Christensen from Posits Perfume if you'd like to come and ask me some questions about sealing wax where you can get it and what forms there are and whether or not you have some tricks that you like to share with everybody come and have a chat on the Posits forum that's www.posits.com P is in Paul, O is in Oscar, S is in Sam, S is in Sam, E is in Edward, T is in Tom, S is in Sam dot com and uh, tell me you know what you think and if you have any tricks that you'd like to share with people because I can do a follow-up on this thanks a lot and uh, I hope to see you uh, a little while later because I'm going to be blogging again real soon bye bye